let's take a look at political and administrative values. Our discussion of political and administrative values has three purposes. To understand the fundamental beliefs underlying American government and public bureaucracy, to recognize the impact of values in public administration, and to see the ways in which value, conflicts, affect politics and administration. Political values refer to the basic beliefs about politics and appropriate government relationships to private activity. Links to economic activity and political values are relevant to a discussion of public administration because of increasing government responsibility in regulating businesses and industry. In general, the United States is regarded politically as a liberal democracy and economically as a capitalist system. Liberal democracy is a fundamental form of political arrangement founded on the concepts of popular sovereignty and limited government. A capitalist system is an economic system in which the means of production are owned by private citizens. Popular sovereignty is a form of government by the ultimate consent of the governed. It implies some degree of popular participation in voting and other political actions, although this does not necessarily mean mass or universal political involvement. Limited government refers to devices built into the Constitution that effectively limit the power of government over individual citizens. The specific vehicle for popular rule has been representative democratic government. Initially, Americans emphasized legislative representation, which is stressed by the Constitution. Representation is a principle of legislative selection based on a number of inhibitants or amount of territory in a legislative district. Adequate, fair, and equal representation has become a major objective of many who feel that they've been denied it in the past and now seek to have greater influence, particularly in administrative decision making. Representativeness suggests groups that have been relatively powerless should be represented in government positions in proportion to their numbers in the population. Concern for political representation and democratic representativeness in administrative organizations has diminished in the more recent years. These subtle changes in meaning have cumulatively made it more difficult to determine whether democratic or administrative values are being manifested. Public discontent with affirmative action, immigration policies, and government spending has prompted groups to challenge these policies by placing them on the ballot to decide their future through public initiative or referenda. Limited government reflects the predominant view of those who frame the Constitution that governments could pose a basic threat to individual liberties. Therefore, they incorporated into the Constitution four devices that effectively limit government checks and balances, separation of powers, federalism, and judicial review. In addition to this fragmentation of government powers, the Bill of Rights established broad areas of protection for individual liberties and personal privacy against encroachment by official government action. Judicial review is the constitutional power of the courts to review the actions of executive agencies, legislatures, or decisions of lower courts to determine whether judges, legislators, or administrators acted appropriately. Individualism is a philosophical belief in the worth and dignity of the individual, particularly as part of a political order. Pluralism is a social and political concept stressing the benefits of group organization as a means of protecting broad group interests in society. Our emphasis on the individual is evident in the protections for civil rights and liberties, but it also implies the right to participate meaningfully in the political process. The rights of all citizens to organize and advance their interests links the Bill of Rights, individualism, and pluralism suggesting that individual freedom includes the unrestricted right to be active in organized interest groups. These values serve as standards against which political reality is measured. 